Hey guys, back in the garage, working on the 55 Chevy four door to two door conversion. So in previous videos, I've talked a little bit about, um, you know, my game plan for building this car. And I was working on the outside, on the driver's side, and I was gonna move to the inside once I got it where I wanted. And, uh, and that was fully the game plan, but unfortunately I'm gonna have to change a little bit. Um, and I'll show you why. So I've got the car turned around. By the way, this car still does run and drive, guys. It's got a little 283 in it with the original two-speed power glide transmission. But anyway, back to it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll walk to the other side of the car here in just a second. So... You know, I've done the conversion on that side, on the driver's side, and I've got it all in in good shape on the outside. Uh, really, really close. I mean, pretty much ready for body work over there. So my original game plan, you know, I was coming back in here, going to cut the inside of the door skin down to fit back in the hole. Um, and, you know, I can still do that. that that's no big deal, and I'm going to do that. But here's the reason I'm going to go ahead and catch the other side up with the two-door conversion. Is this rust here? It's got some pretty good rust in here. I got in here yesterday cleaning everything up. The floors are pretty soft in spots in this car. So I've decided to go ahead and... Um, start the passenger side of the conversion instead of finishing the inside up because once i cut this door skin down you know replace this metal i'm going to get down to the bottom here and i've got to do some rust repair on this um, and it's just going to lead into more and then i'm going to be tied up on the inside of the car so i'm going to hold up with what i've got for now just because I know where this is going to lead. You know, I don't have floor, ban floor pans for this car. Um, I'm going to make all this stuff by hand. Um, I'm going to try my best not to buy it. Just for a simple reason, I want to see if I can do it. Same way as the conversion, you know, converting it to a two-door. Never done it before. I want to try it. So I'm going to come to this side here. Then we're going to go ahead and do the conversion on it. Uh, that way everything's fresh in my mind on what I've done on the other side, on how to get there. And, you know, just like the rocker deal in the last video y'all seen, um, I should have put that rocker in as one. I didn't. It still turned out great. The other side is, is fantastic. I'm very pleased with it. Um, you know, everything's still good and straight. My body lines and everything's still good. Rocker is extremely good and straight, even though I ended up putting it in in two pieces. But it turned out great. I'm very pleased with it. So while all this is fresh on my mind, I'm going to go ahead and do this other side, get it cut in. The plan for this one, I'm gonna do it very similar. I'm gonna get you guys some footage on what I'm doing on this one though. But I'm gonna do a few things different and see which one I like better. So the first step of this, you know, I'm gonna be removing the doors. This rocker on this side is gone too. It also had the rocker cap like the other side did that they capped over back in the day. So I'm going to remove the doors. First step, I'm going to cut the post out. Then I'm going to go ahead and replace my rocker before I go back in the, with the post. On the other side, I, I can't remember if I got it on camera or if I showed you work footage or just talked about it. I cut the post out, hung the door, 
the two door and then put the post back in and then section the rocker in back here and then come back up with this front rocker doing everything. Uh, so that's the first step and that's the step that I'm gonna change. I'm gonna cut the post, go ahead and put the rocker in. I've got a door that I'm gonna hang. Um, it's not great. I'll show you what it is. Uh, it's basically, this door was a wall hanger just because of the old school paint scheme and stuff that was on it, but it has tons of rust. I'm hoping it's good enough to hang for me to mock up. And I'm either gonna have to try to fix that door or I'm gonna have to come up with another door, but we're gonna use it to hang for now. And then same as the other side, I'll be cutting this rear door down, cutting the skin off of it, cutting the post out of it. I'll be using this piece to make the two door sedan, welding this stuff back in you know cutting all this out also on this side guys my post is in a ton better shape than what the other side is i think i'm going to be able to save this post without having to cut it out and you know make one from scrap oh you know, the rockers on this side's gone and uh so that's why i'm going to do it this way so so the ultimate game plan is going to convert this one this side to the two door two door sedan get the outside completely ready like the driver's side then i'm going to work my way to the back of the car i've got to put a tail pan in it and then there's just a the actual the trunk pan is in really good shape in it but the tail pan and then my theory on this from the door rocker back on the car around to the other side will be ready for body work on the outside. I know y'all have seen him around. Uh, he's itching to get in on some body work. So while everything's fresh, I'm gonna do this, get the back half of the car ready. Then I'm gonna move to the inside because I'm gonna have you know extensive rust repair in here with under this rear seat this side's not as bad as that side but uh, you know some of the braces gone out there by the wheel well so i'm gonna you know repair that as i go and i know as soon as i started on the inside of that skin guys that once i got down to the bottom here it was going to lead right into this so i decided to hold up for a few get this side to a two-door sedan and then go work my way to the inside of the car. So I know it was a lot of rambling right here, but I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get y'all some actual work footage on doing this side, and hopefully you guys like it. So, after pulling the doors and pulling whatever kind of panels they had on here, we've got quite a bit of rock. 
so there's really nothing left of the rocker and then whatever these patch panel floorboards they are that's as far as they went on so game plan it's a little bit overwhelming but nothing I can't handle so I think next step for me after pulling this apart and looking at it for a few minutes I'm going to go ahead and remove the post that way it don't get damaged or anything like that and then I've got a clear wide open for this rocker metal work whatever else I get into on doing this so I'm gonna have to replace most of this get the rocker back in and then get my cap plate in welded in tie the quarter back in right here um, I've already got some measurements on it of where it needs to be I've also got measurements on the front here when I cut it loose uh, we'll get it tied back in then I'll be going back in with the post is the plan stay tuned guys this is going to be a good one all right guys bring you back again it's actually been a couple days since i first started the passenger side been a little bit busy but we're going to get back on it and i'll show you where we're at and then uh i'm going to set up a time lapse try to give you all the work footage on on this side unlike i did the other side so all right guys here's what we got going so when I left off the other night, I had removed both four doors, the front and rear door. The post was still in. So I cut the post out, top and bottom. And I showed y'all the rot that we had in this side. It's the post laying back there. Showed you this door. This door is pretty rough. Um, the inside's actually not extremely terrible. The outside's worse. So I hung this door the other night. I was doing it by myself, so body lines are not great right this second. But that's actually what I'm getting ready to start on. I'm gonna adjust this door on in to get my body lines good at the window post and good at the fender and good at what rocker I've got left. Even though the rocker is, you know, trash, it's still holding pretty good shape. Actually a pretty good body line, decent. So I'm gonna get my door where I want it. Then I'm gonna cut the, the old rocker out and I'm gonna get this new rocker put in. And I had it sitting on there just a second ago like I said, when I got this car, somebody had capped them years ago. So right there was where it was cut out for the post. So I'll be putting a patch back in that once I get the rocker in. Once I get the rocker back in, you know, connect my quarter back in with this kind of rounded piece back here. And that'll tie it in good and tied up front or in the back. And then same with the door brace or you know door jam i'll be tying back in here and that'll connect everything solid patch this and then i'll be going back in with the post to get my door latching and all that good stuff and then we'll be going from there on you know rust repair putting this quarter back in i'll probably put the quarter back in like i said and earlier in this video you know i'm gonna have some extensive floor pan work and stuff like that on the inside of the car and i'm gonna do it without buying a new floor pan i'm gonna attempt to make it using the bead roller and all that good stuff all right guys we'll set up the other camera and i'll get you some time lapse we'll try to get something thrown together bring you back soon see you guys
All right, guys, bring you back a little bit. This side's making me work for it, for sure. But I'll show you what I got. We're probably gonna cash it in on this video for tonight. Probably get some stuff put together, some time lapse, and, and we'll get one put out here, and then we'll start on it again. But I'll show you what I got, guys. So we got the door adjusted in. Body lines are good on it. Not too bad. We got the rocker in. Uh, still a lot more work to do on it. So I guess we'll start up front here. So obviously floor's gone right here I've just got it tacked in uh, nothing is finished well yet just because there was nothing left on this side so you know I'm gonna end up with a lot of movement so I'm gonna have to be careful as I'm going doing this uh, I got my patch put in now it's a little long right there from here to here but there was a little bit of this channel left on the floorboard. I don't know if I can move it a piece. So I cut it long. That way I could tack it just to kind of help hold the center of this. Um, floor brace and all that's still good right here. I'll have to put inner rockers in it. Um, I got this piece just kind of laying here. It's tacked, tacked here just to help hold everything from movement. Made the little corner piece. Uh, I've got some more to do on it. I'm gonna have to cut out some rot right in here and get all this tied in. Uh, and then, you know, same as other side over there. We got rust here. So, like I said in the earlier, you know, I, I've got measurements on where everything needs to be uh, to make sure everything's good and straight. Uh, also, I don't know if you guys can see this, doors got to come out a quarter inch for the bump stops, you know, when you get the latch and everything on. Everything's still good and straight with that. Uh, same with the rocker. Welded my patch panel in. I've, I got a little bit of dip here, but when I when I cut these tack welds back loose, I'll raise it back up where it needs to be. I wanted to go ahead and get that that panel welded in. Nothing's ground out, but um, you know body lines pretty good rocker is good and straight through here all the way up I don't know if you guys can see that uh, it was perfectly straight as far as on the bottom but like I said I got a little bit of sag right here where my left hand is, but it's not much. It's like a sixteenth of an inch and four foot. And it was, it was good and straight until I welded my patch in. But I mean, I can, I can cut my tacks back loose, and raise that back up where it needs to be. No big deal. This side's definitely gonna make me work for it, guys. That's for sure. But, you know, I had to start somewhere on it and just dive in and do it. You know, this side's going to be ex extensive. The whole car's extensive. You know, all these cars got rust, but it is what it is. I'm having a blast doing it. So that's what we got. Got that old school door, this old crazy paint job that was on there. Huh? That's nice stuff right there. Crime. All right, guys, I'm gonna put this video together and we're gonna cash it in on this one. I'm gonna call it quits for tonight. 
and uh, get something put together and get out there and then we'll we'll start again with another video so as always like subscribe talk to me comment tell your friends push me out there let everybody know all right guys till next time see you